I hope you are all doing good. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. Parallelogram trapezoid area formula derivation using double integrals is a the theme of this video starting here with parallelogram. If you designate a point here 0 comma 0 and you look here across b comma 0 and generate a point up over here and point across you can generate all of these in terms of a parallelogram. This point is b comma 0, we can designate this b comma h, we can say this is 2b comma h. So we have everything here in a rather symmetrical manner. Well, I want to do integration of this upwards with regards to dy, a dx integral, integrating upwards with regards to dy, that would be our double integral procedure for this. I need equations because we have convergence here, divergence here with regards to our initial limits. All of that has to be factored in. This equation right here will be y is equal to h over bx. Since we're going upwards, generate the equations in terms of x equals left equation, left boundary curve, b, y over h. We need this. Well, it's not too hard. We have our points. Of course, it's parallel. Remember, parallelogram, two pairs of parallel sides. Slope must be the same, h over b. Obviously, h over b, x plus, y-intercept. If you were to trace this line down, it's going to come and hit right over here at minus h, 0 comma minus h. So this right here will become minus h. But you have to generate your curve with regards to x equals. Take h on the other side, y plus h. Flip this slope onto the other side, b over h. That's what we have. Those are our two equations. Here's one, here's the other. Now let's look at our dx integral. You have this point 0 comma 0, b comma 0, which will obviously adopt these limit values because the movement will be very much inherent to the equations that are taking place of the limits. Lower limit, b, y over h. Upper limit right here. Open it up, b, y over h plus b b y over h plus b i've opened this up i distributed it with regards to dx all of this will integrate upwards lower limit is zero upper limit h with regards to dy this is going to give you everything you need for the parallelogram area formula look right here antiderivative is an x b y over h plus b and then obviously lower limit b y over h upper limit lower limit the difference of the two you have a by over h plus b minus by over h. These cancel out. The only thing which remains is a b, which can become a coefficient here or a constant for the next integral. It will be b, 0 to h, dy. The antiderivative here is a y, upper limit h, and a 0. Simple. And you'll have bh, which is the area of this parallelogram. All of this right here, bh, and it makes sense. Base times height is the area formula for a parallelogram. We started here with an integral with respect to dx. Intervals and limits along the x, we integrate upwards. Since we cannot trace directly up, we're still going in a parallel manner, but we're going parallel along lines which are being traced. Those equations of lines come and serve as your new upper and lower limit. And that helps take everything through. Now we look at the trapezoid area formula derivation. You know, area is equal to half, or you can say h over 2, half height times b1 plus b2. The problem with integral calculus derivation is you can never arrive exactly at this formula because you are separating b1 and b2, bringing in subscripts. You're essentially generating a different base, upper and a lower base. When you're doing integral calculus, you're looking at combined areas. Everything becomes combined. The formula you get from integral calculus has to be reconciled to this to show that indeed what you're getting is actually this, but in a disguised or camouflaged appearance. You cannot really achieve this other than by geometry or trigonometry. Integral calculus gives you a certain different formula, which is equivalent to that. You just reconcile it at the very end. Anyhow, we start here with 0, 0. We can do a point here, 1 here, 1 here, and then we'll make this 3b, 0. Up over here, we'll say b, h. Here, we'll say 2b, h. And that's my one point. Combine all of these and connect them. You've got your trapezoid. Now look, this is the area which we have to determine. We'll take this x-axis dx, integral dx interval or integral and integrate it upwards. I need the equation of this and I need the equation of this. What's the equation of this? It's easy. y is equal to h over bx. Left boundary curve is equal to by over h. That's one. Now let's determine this. Slope will be minus h over b x and then obviously you take this up you can have your y-intercept that y-intercept will be 3h you have to solve this for x 
x is equal to y minus 3h times minus b over h. But flip things around right here. You'll have a b over h times 3h minus y. That's your right boundary curve. We bring these into the limits. The dx integral, you have 0 to 3b, but they've been replaced because when I'm moving upwards, I'm tracing a line, a curve, and I'm converging. I need to bring the equations. This right here is my lower limit, b, y over h. That right there is my upper limit b over h times 3h minus y open it up you'll have here a 3b minus b y over h and that will be your upper limit 3b minus b y over h all of this will integrate upwards from 0 to h you know 0 to h with respect to dy look right here in antiderivative x you have a 3b minus b y over h and here you have a b y over h do this you'll have a 3b minus b y over h upper limit and lower limit and the difference of the two minus b y over h what will you get you'll have a 3b minus 2b y over h which will now integrate with respect to dy simply because you have a y variable in here so you cannot just bring it in as a coefficient it's going to integrate with everything rewrite your integral with respect to dy you have this 3b minus 2b y over h dy now integrate this 3b y minus 2b y square over 2h everything from h and 0 here you'll have a 3bh here you will have a 2b h squared divided by 2h but the 2's cancel out this h will cancel out with that one square you'll have a bh and your end result will be 2bh which is the area of this trapezoid that you see and it indeed is right it's right but now we have to reconcile it look right here here's my b1 here's my b2 b1 has here a distance segment of 3b b1 is equal to 3b b2 is equal to 2b minus b which is just b area is equal to half times height times b1 plus b2 which is a 4b combine everything you have a 4bh divided by 2 you have a 2bh so it indeed is equal to your typical trapezoid derivation formula except everything is combined because of the integral calculus procedure you don't retain or keep that separation or the distinction between the two bases because again the integral calculus obscures all of that and combines and puts everything into the mix you end up with this formula but it is equal to the right formula you just reconcile it that's it for this video have a good day